This, this uh, prosthetic arm is developed by a company called Limitless Solutions, and we have recently started developing video games to help teach kids how to use their prosthetic in a fun and engaging manner. So they're connected. They're connected to the game with that sensor. Yeah. So it uses the same sensor that's in the prosthetic arm, so that they can learn how to uh, do different powers or different um, like uh, like uh, certain, navigate certain obstacles um, through the the game, which maps to different controls for the arm. Got it. So that's training them how to get better at knowing how to use the arm. Correct? Exactly. So there's two different games here. One on the right is called Smash Bro, and it uh, teaches the kids just generally how to, to uh, characterize their flexing. So if they are flexing, if they're not flexing, and if they're flexing hard or soft. Your magical savior of friends on the left has three different powers with each of those powers mapped to a different technique to, to kind of uh, control the arm differently. Okay. So there's a pattern power that works on water. Um, and so if he flexes once, it'll go out. And the second time he flexes, it pops up and, and detonates on water. And what is the uh, game engine you guys are using for these? So this this is actually a library that we've developed in Unity okay. uh, to... to be able to plug into any Unity based game to okay, use that that's, control. That's actually pretty awesome. That's even better. Yeah. Cool. But these games are specifically designed for this purpose, and somebody else could use this capability and this plugin to be able to Absolutely. power any game that they want. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And that's, that's made document, uh, it has documentation. Okay. And it's made to be as easy to port into the game or to design a game like a game jam or something. Right, and that's kind of cool because, you know, they can't use that hand with a con for a controller anyway, so right. it allows them to basically use their other hand as a controller if they want to. And in a lot of ways, um, that intent being translated into gameplay in a lot of ways can be almost uh, quicker or more useful than an actual button press. So right. And one -handed controller for the what kind of latency does it have? Um, it's pretty quick. Yeah, so it's sampling every frame, so 60 times per second. And so we can find a trend within a frame or two. As far as like if okay. flex is beginning or ending. I just I just see you know like there's probably a couple kids out there that are already really competitive gamers that like you know they don't want to have a disadvantage. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So one of the benefits of having the library, like the kids love to play games that are designed to help them learn how to use their prosthetic better, but they also want to sit down with their friends and play games that their friends are interested in playing in. So by developing that library, it can be ported to any game that's based in Unity. Right. Um, and so even if their friends are playing a, a game like Cuphead, if they implement that library, they can sit down with their friends and, and they could play. And they could ask Cuphead, the, the, the developer of Cuphead, to possibly yeah, enable that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, guys.